Welcome back at a 647 in West Michigan. Parents are in full swing getting their kids ready to head back to school. All week 13 is on your side with helpful tips and advice and resources. This morning our Angela Cunningham has the top ways to help get kids off to a healthy start this year. Angela. That's right. Good morning, guys. A healthy child is a happy child and one that is ready to learn. That said, parents are shuffling so many things this time of year. Health checklists will help make sure that nothing gets missed. Two things at the top of those lists are pretty basic, and that's getting your kids vision and hearing checked. According to the National Institutes of Health, many students have problems with seeing or hearing and they don't even realize it. If not corrected, those kids could be at a serious disadvantage in their classrooms. And while you're checking your kids' hearing and eyesight, you may want to check how much their backpacks weigh every day. Backpacks weighing more than 5 to 10 percent of a child's body weight could cause poor posture, pain and other problems. Now a safe backpack must also fit properly using both straps and distributing weight equally across the back. Also, doctors advise parents to make sure their kids are up to date with their immunizations. Make sure you have those records handy too, especially if your kids are going to a new school. Chief Pediatric Specialist Dr. Lisa Lowry reminds parents that children should have another round of shots during their adolescent years. The more things we can do, it helps set our children up for success. It can be overwhelming. Give yourself credit for the things you have already done. This all doesn't have to be done in one day. Make it fun. I mean, school should be a fun opportunity. And again, work with your healthcare provider, work with your school. The sooner we know what's going on, the sooner we can help and hopefully advocate for our patients. Now, Dr. Lara says that is especially true if your kids have special medical needs like food allergies, asthma, or diabetes. Now, it sounds like a lot, but the good news is that most of this stuff can be covered with a basic well child exam. Dr. Lowry gave so much good advice. We want to share that with you, so we will be sharing that as a web extra on 13onyourside.com. Back to you. Thank you, Angela. Our back to school coverage continues coming up tomorrow morning right here on 13 on your side. Angela will break down all the hacks every parent should know about. And this morning at 9 on My West Michigan, survival tips for parents of teens going off to college. Plus, how to get the most out of your kids' after school snacks. And of course, you can find more back to school coverage on our website. Just search 13onyourside.com slash back to school. You can also access more by using our 13 on your side app.